All right, so we're back for our third puzzle piece in our series here. So I got part three lined up. And so the part we're looking at here is the red part. So it's gonna be, it looks like I can do this in two extrusions. I can do that, the face that looks like this. But again, this isometric view is not showing one of the, the, the pieces that's kind of in the back there, that little piece right there. So that's why I have my two, um, I have my design set up so I can see kind of the full thing. I've got my multi-view drawing, which also shows, shows me any hidden features. That's why we have the multi-view drawing so we can see different faces of it and see if something's hiding in the back there. And then I'm using that this design in the multi-view drawing to create my puzzle parts in Onshape. So we have, we're gonna start with a new document here. We're going to keep with our naming convention of part one and part two Gibbs A, and now we are working on part three. So we're going to say new document, and we're going to say part three Gibbs A. Okay. And then I have, I'm going to start with the same orientation that I have in my puzzle part. So I'm going to start actually on that front view and I'm looking to try to make this part in the least amount of extrusions possible, right? So it looks like I can do this in two. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to right click on this face. I'm going to say new, uh, new sketch. Okay. And then I have, I'm going to outline it. And again, I've been really liking um, using the trimming tool and you know putting some action lines in there it seems to put all the the constraints in there that I need and then I just look for that pair of scissors up there that says trim and I trim off the stuff that I don't need okay all right so now I'm ready to start putting some dimensions on it and again we're just going with the dimensions that we have in um, for our cubes, and each cube is 0.75 tall. And so if there's three cubes, that's gonna be 0.75 times three. So I'm gonna go to dimension. I'm gonna say, this is three cubes from here to here. And so that should be 2.25. And so the way that we know to dimension it is I go down, I, I go from top to bottom or from bottom to top in kind of a, in a systematic order, and I go, until I hit a line. So I'm like, okay, so I've got to go up, 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 I hit a line. Okay, so I should dimension that, and that should be 1.5. Okay, and it's 1.5 because it's two cubes tall. So if I look over on the left-hand side of the screen, I see my that's from that line all the way down to the bottom. It's two cubes, so 1.5. Then we're going to go across, and same thing. I, I'm going to go from here, and I'm going to go until I hit a, a line going up and down, which is this guy right here, and so I know i got to dimension that, and that should be 0.75. And then I'm going to go up all the way across. I've already gotten that dimension in. And so I'm going to go until I hit another line. Oh, there it is right there. Boom. And that should be 1.5. Okay, so now this is fully dimensioned. We're ready to, we're ready to extrude it. And so it's a thickness of one cube right here going across. And then we're going to add that one, that other one later on. So a thickness of one cube. And it's going to be... 0.75 since it's one cube I hit okay and then now I have my the front part of my part so I've got this part right here but I need to get that little guy on the back side so over here so I'm going to rotate it around to the back side I'm going to start another sketch and go from the corner boom and again, I don't like, I don't want it to be constrained to anything else. I don't like doing that because then if I make a mistake, it's it's easy to cover up uh, that mistake, which I don't want to do. I want to make it correct, not cover up the mistake. So I'm going to say 0.75 tall, 0.75 across. Okay. And then I'm ready to extrude it. So now I'm going to hit my extrude. And that should be 0.75 because it is one cube sticking out there. OK, so that brings it back a little bit. And so now I can verify that my front view, my right view, top view is all correct. So look, I've got my front view. I can see that outline right there. There's that outline. And then I can rotate it to my right view. Excuse me. And I can see that I've got that rectangle, that's that rectangle, and then I've got this rectangle, or this uh, square and that square. And so my part looks correct, looks like I've got it um, 
we've got it oriented right. I've got the right uh, drawings and sketches and dimensions on there. And this one's done, except I need to color it. So I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna hit Edit Appearance, and I'm looking for a red color. Uh, that looks good to me. Great, all right. So now this part is fully done, and I'm ready to move on to the next one.